Hi and welcome back to Me More. Today is another beauty video and I have the lovely Dr. Bernardo back with me who is going to answer all the questions that I have and I'm sure you do as well about vitamin C. Okay, vitamin C, why is it so important for our skin? First, thank you very much, Kelly, for inviting me to be part of memore.tv, and I feel honored. So, so do we, so do we. <laughs> <laughs> Vitamin C is a potent antioxidant, and it is a water-soluble uh, vitamin, okay? This means it doesn't stay in our body for very long. When we're young, we have plenty of vitamin C, it sits on our skin. It's a very essential component in our body. So with, um, as we grow older, the components, the vitamin C, it doesn't stay as long as in our skin. So we need to replenish that. So we need to replenish from food. We don't, unfortunately, we don't produce vitamin C. From, from what age do we stop producing? Well, as we grow older, so let's say, there's quite a few factors that affect whether um, you, uh, it's not that we produce vitamin C, okay. it's that we, we have less, less vitamin C in our body. Okay. Okay. So, so babies, we're born with it. Well, yes, vitamin C is coming from comes from food. Basically. Okay, okay. So it's not something is stored in our body, but in your body uses for function. It's very important. But we don't as we grow older, it, we have less vitamin C, so we need to keep supplementing. So that m mainly comes from food and supplements. So for those that ho who don't take fresh fruits, um, the greens, peppers, so citrus fruits, strawberries, then you kind of need to get some sort of supplement. Once inside the body, it's because it's an unstable molecule, your body gets rid. So if you say to me, if I take a lot of vitamin C, it means I'm gonna have a lot of collagen production, we have lots of good effects on my skin. Well, not necessarily because your body takes what it needs and what doesn't need to dispose. Okay. okay. So in babies' skins, in children's skin, they have this plumped, beautiful skin because they have a lot of, of, of vitamin C in their skin. Now, when we go to the sun, the radicals, the, the, radic the exposure to UV light stops the effect of vitamin C in our skin. So that's why... Sunshine, UVs. Yes, yeah, so UVA, UVB kind of has an effect on the vitamin C, okay? So we actually need to supplement. And in dermatology and in medical aesthetics, it's a big thing, vitamin C, because it has those key effects to actually keep a youthful and beautiful glowing skin. So if we're talking about the benefits, what it does for your skin, okay? So first, it stimulates the collagen production. Mm -hmm. So if you're taking collagen supplements, it needs to be absorbed. And vitamin C helps with absorption. Now, topically, it prevents inflammation on the skin. Mm -hmm. So it prevents the signs of aging. So the photo damage to your skin from the sun will need that what vitamin C protects. So it prevents inflammation of the skin, um, photo damage, any stimulation of collagen production. So in that way... Sorry, is yes? that just all topically? Topically. So okay. only if you're putting a cream onto your face? Yes, that's mm -hmm. the next topic I want to talk. Cream or serums? That's my question. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> a cream or a serum? It is a lot of studies on vitamin C and questioning the stability, right? right? Which means what? Which means, are you applying a product that is really working? What effect, is this really giving me that effect that I want to achieve from vitamin C? Now, creams, vitamin C on creams, they do not stay stable for a very long time. So the serums, they maintain the stability. So normally when you see a serum from vitamin C, it will be in a dark bottle. Yes. And that's because the UV can damage, can make that unstable. So closed bottle, and you apply as a serum and it has different percentages. What's the right percentages? It will vary from one skin to another. But if it's not high enough, it will not penetrate the skin. Okay, so what is the minimum percentage that you should look for if you're starting with a vitamin C? Okay, it should be around 10%. Okay. okay, and what? how high can we go to? Up to 20%. Ideally, you should see a professional to do a facial analysis, skin analysis, and assess what would work better from the products you've been using and address the issues of your skin with the right skincare products. So can anyone use it though? 
Or is that what you're saying? You have to go and get an analysis. But is there anyone that is el eliminated from using this? No, not necessarily. I think everyone that starts showing some, some damage on the skin, we normally say everyone over the age of 30 should be on vitamin C every day. And that's topically? Topically. And ingesting, depending on their diet. Exactly. So if you're taking, um, if you have a healthy diet, you probably don't need to take any supplements. But for those people that do not have a, are not taking from the food, from the greens, from the strawberries, from citrus food, then perhaps having a supplement that will benefit the body overall. So what are the best products to use? How do we know if it's got the percentage, it's in a dark bottle, how do we know if it's a good product? That's a very difficult question, okay? Because yes. today there is several cosmeceutical products that... Can you explain what cosmeceutical means versus... Medical skincare. Yes. Right, cosmeceutical is pretty much what you can buy over the counter. It sits on your skin. It might not penetrate deeply in your skin. So anything that's medical skincare is something that should be monitored by a healthcare professional. Because you could have a reaction to your skin, and then if it's a cosmeceutical, usually they will sit on top of your skin, you'll pump it, it'll feel good, but it might not be giving the um, medical treatment that your skin deserves. So it's not penetrating. Penetrating, yeah. So with the medical skin products, it's, um, it's normally a company that invests on, on scientific evidence, and they have proofs that works, and and there is one company that I, I love it. I'm not saying this is the only company, mm -hmm. but all my patients have excellent results and it works. And that's Obagi. And that's what I use. <laughs> <laughs> now there is no product placement in any of these videos. This is coming from the heart of what I love and what I recommend. And I was very lucky to have uh, Dr. Bernardo um, direct me into Obagi but it's knowing how to use it as well. You'll learn more about that in another video. So with your body, what we have in terms of serum for vitamin C, we have in different types. So we've got the 10% for anyone that's starting and not sure if they could cope with a higher percentage or more for sensitive or dry skin, then you go for the 10%. And then you can build up for the normal skin type or, or if you've been to any other active products before or using a vitamin C which has no percentage on the bottle and you're not sure whether to go for a higher percentage or lower, then you can go for the 15%. So if there's no percentage, if they do not stipulate the percentage on the bottle, don't buy it. Well, you don't know what, it, what you, what it, yeah. how much, what's, what you're applying to your face. Yes. So it's vitamin C, it could be a trace of vitamin C. Is that 1%, 2%, 10%, yes. 15 20%? It's very difficult. But it for, should, for it to really do anything, it needs to be at least 10%. Let me put it this way. If you start on a body vitamin C, you probably think, when do I see results? It's not something that you see the result overnight. But anyone with uh, some damaged skin, or just wants a glow to the skin and feel better, it's about six weeks to six months. Yes. If you start using every day, you create, you're treating your skin, over a period of six months, I guarantee you that you'll see a difference in skin. I saw a difference within, I think, the first six weeks. Thank you so much for coming today and answering my questions on vitamin C. I hope it's helped you and you've enjoyed this video. Now we're always looking for new video ideas, so if there's something in particular you would like to know from Dr. Bernardo, please leave a comment or ask a question. If you'd like to learn more about Obagi, have a look at the video here, and I think you also might like this.